Okay. So everything is committed. Um, okay. Um, okay, we can go back into our characters. We can go back into gameplay with our fantasy character. And now we can set a mesh. And we got this child, female, male, and mannequin. So if we go this guy, he looks like this. And if we go this guy, he looks almost the same. But let's use the wooden one. Okay. We got this wooden guy and he has absolutely no animations right now. And this is something we're going to change. So we need a um, animation blueprint. So this is a gameplay uh, thing for sure. And you know what? We got core. We also could get a base. Uh, I'll just make animation blueprints. Okay. Animation blueprints are in the color of animations. <coughs> so inside here. I'm going to make animation, animation blueprint for only skeleton that we have. And we want to actually pick a parent class, which is HR core anim instance. If we don't pick any, it will be just anim instance. And we want to call it pp uh, core anim instance. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe it's not a good idea. Uh, animation blueprint. Okay, that's the last change. Oh, and here I had some typo in pip player. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's keep it here. So I got this and we can just set it as default. And uh, so there we have it. Okay, great. And we just do idle. And we got idle. Okay, great. Let's go back into our uh, change log. So we got a basic setup of the character. Check. HRA master component. Check. Locomotion inputs and inputs. This is what we're going to do now. So let's go into inputs. Let's go into, let's, we can do gameplay inputs. And this is definitely blue. Okay, so inputs. First of all, what is the list of the inputs that we really want? Uh, we want to have directions, primary trigger, secondary, strength and agility inputs, interaction, jumping, crouching, running, walking, sprinting, which could be just one button. And then we have uh, quick actions, two quick actions and four shortcuts. So that's a lot. So let's start uh, generating those inputs. So now that we enable enhance inputs, we have this input here and we have input action and input uh, mapping context. So first of all, we need to do input action uh, and we call it input action underscore uh, trigger uh, or even primary trigger. Okay, and then we can just make it a copy and call it secondary trigger. And I could set it up before I made a copy, but never mind. Okay, so let's open them up and... Oh, okay, I opened two objects so I can uh, construct them in the same way. So, it consumes input when pressed, so yes. Um, Trio when pause, no. Uh, receives all mappings. Uh, that means... Um, Okay, this is a digital bool, so it's a press or not. It has triggers and modifiers, so we need to add a trigger. So, um, do, 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 by help, we could this mapping. Uses, remove the mapping first. Okay, so it's unrelevant for us. 
I'm going to do a trigger, which will be, okay, and there are a lot of those. Uh, so we want this button to detect two types <clears throat> of, uh, of triggers. So we want it to be down and then released, right? Uh, so so like, like we previously had, we had pressed and released on an input. So the exact same functionality uh, is not pressed because this is just a, a single, it's not released, it's down. So it's basically saying that, yeah, the key is down and then it's saying that the key got uh, released. So it's doing two of those. Uh, so yeah, this is the trigger we want to pick. Mm -hmm. Let's get back here, open one of them, shovel down, okay, and now we can close this and open this one, this is a bolt down, okay, and now we can do axis, <coughs> so let's go into input, input action, let's call it input action, move forward, and move forward is an axis. Oh, we can do vector 2D even. That's cool. I mean, yeah, let, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do it like this and say that the trigger is uh, I think it's none for something that's an axis. Let's just save it and let's uh, instead of move forward, let's go input axis, move grounded. And we'll see what we can do with this. And, and now uh, let's do already an input mapping context. So this is input map uh, underscore. Um, character locomotion so we can have multiple of those so we can have different uh, mapping depending on what type of character we are or you know just really different things but let's do just this one and let's say that we want to do a mapping of move grounded <coughs> and we want to say Oh, okay, we can just do it like this, W, S, A, D, and now for each of those values, um, hmm. okay, I'm thinking about that, and I have no clue how to do that, really, because if W is just forward then s would be a modifier of just negate uh, oh okay ah okay that makes sense so this is also scalar so this is x1 zero zero this is minus one zero zero then a is left and we want right to be like the dominant so we say um, modifier uh, scalar this is zero one zero and a is modifier scalar uh, zero minus one zero I guess okay so we have it like this and this is our entire move grounded that's cool okay so let's go with mapping now we have a primary trigger and secondary trigger so the primary trigger will be uh, obviously the left mouse button and secondary trigger will be our right mouse button but we might also want to add 
uh, game pad trigger so this will be our right trigger and this will be our left trigger yep and we could do also mapping for the axis but i'm not going to do that right now okay so we got triggers mm, trigger trigger grounded okay let's do jumping this will be the easiest one to test so input action input action underscore jump I will just say that the trigger for it is uh, down basically okay input action jump and we're doing jump and we're saying that it's space bar and also it's game pad bottom face button as always and no trigger and no modifier okay so let's just test this like this should already work we can go into event graph oh and we need to also initiate uh, this system <coughs> and we can initiate it here on begin play or we can initiate in any of the components so let's uh let's maybe do it here why not Begin oh you know what let's keep this as clean as we are right. yeah let's just let's do it here it doesn't matter the gameplay we want to say get controller to say uh input uh no it's local uh Oh, it has to be player controller. Uh, because we want... Wait, we want... Why, why am I doing it here? Like, we created a player controller exactly to do this. So, begin play. We want to say a local... Uh, input local player subsystem exactly this and now this has a function say register I think no um, let's see Add mapping context. Okay, I think it's this one. Yeah, it's only running on the server. So we're doing it in the controller, and the mapping context is our I am character locomotion, and the priority is. Uh, I might even say it's a hundred. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we got only one mapping. So, okay. We're adding this in the controller, so this should register the inputs. So now that we register the inputs, we can use them. So we can say uh, input jump. So we can get the values and actions. So we can say jump, and we have started, ongoing, cancelled triggered completed so for our example we have started and completed uh, so we just do jump stop jumping this is like the most basic we can get so jump stop jumping that's everything okay and we can test it immediately if it even works because our character can become the default pound character. Let's hit play. Oh, we might also need a camera just for that. Uh, camera, yeah, we want spring arm. And to the spring arm, we want to have camera. 
great uh, play and we are jumping so our input is working okay we we'll need this mm, we'll need this in a second uh, but we want to now do our movement so input what, what was it called uh, move grounded input action move grounded and we want this and we have action value which is uh, oh great so we can break this vector and we can mm, add input vector and we can also split and we can get control rotation of our pound <coughs> and we can get after rotation oh no actually we want to do this we want to make a vector uh, x y and z and we want to rotate vector and we want to use this as our oh and this is on ongoing so basically it's not when we just start pressing but it's doing on tick while being pressed and this should work nope mm -hmm. okay i give up <laughs> i'm not going to do it like this let's change it let's make this uh, not move grounded by but move forward big F okay and this is not axis 2d it's axis 1d float so it's just a float value trigger we're not doing any trigger and yeah and we're going to make a copy of it W and this one is move backwards no uh, move right okay mm -hmm. going back into our mapping it's saying that this is move forward and we want to do one more mapping which is move right and this is right is D and negative is A so modifier just negate and <clears throat> oh I can't change the order never mind and S is modifier not scalar it's just negate Mm, so this is linear this is linear so we should do move forward move, move backward now we go back to the character and we do input move forward and we do input move right okay we do the standard setup as we always do so there's the character movement component add input vector and what we need to do is get reference point whatever it is for our sake it's uh, control rotation we're just taking the z of this rotation we're taking forward and right vector and then we're multiplying by a value and this is the forward so move forward and this is move right so we multiply by move right value and as you can see we just have this trigger we just also have start ongoing cancel but trigger is the default one 
and it's being called on tick so this should work uh, by now okay we have straight walking character it can't turn but can now jump and strafe walk it's already like working a bit uh, basic promotion okay and now we go back here so we got this we got oh and by the way we can do mm, left axis so this is the left thumbstick uh, y axis and this one is left uh, axis X <clears throat> okay so we got for now configured the gamepad as well let's get back into our inputs we need more of them input uh, input action it's input action underscore and this one will be look up and this one is axis 1d and there's one trigger no there's no triggers no modifiers to it by default and we have another one which is just copy of this yeah can I duplicate and look right left i'll just look right that's fine as well and now we have this let's do look up so this is mouse um this is mouse uh, y and we do another one which is look right and this is mouse x okay and if you want to add gamepad support to it like this doesn't have to be oh this should be i think reverted so negated and we're going to take a look in a second how does it look <coughs> and this input we can actually do in the controller itself because it's referring to the controller as you can say input look up uh, input look uh, right because we want to do uh, control rotation uh, no it's um, yeah. oh uh, actually never mind we can move it from the controller and put it here uh, because we want to say control uh, yo add control yo and add control pitch add control uh, pitch yeah so look up is pitch and this is yo and now this doesn't have any settings okay um let's go back here and say that this uses pound control rotation and this one doesn't okay okay it's the opposite then i set up <laughs> so here this one is modify negate and this one is without modifiers so if i test it now 
it's it's quite smooth but it's okay I can of course change sensitivity of this on multiple levels and uh, methods but I'm not going to cover it here it's not that important so we got looking around mm -hmm. Okay, we got to jump. Uh, now mm, we need crouching. It's a bull value. The trigger is down. Uh, keyboard C it's control it's also left control it's also pad uh, okay it's usually the right thumbstick button or it could be <coughs> or you know what we're not going to, to crouch we're going to do something different we're going to use um, we're going to use agility for that uh, agility action And it's the same and this one is C left control or uh, face button uh, right okay mm, this is the activity action come on all right we do it I get the action ah. keyboard C left control face right okay. mm -hmm. I guess right it's triggered yes so triggered crouch completed on crouch mm, crouch as default agility action okay so we got this mm. And we need one more, which is strength action. Strength action. Uh, we need just simple press buttons for other inputs. So we need input action shortcut one. It's just a bull trigger type of pressed. And we can copy it shortcut two that's correct shortcut three shortcut four uh agility action mm -hmm. this is down so it works good mm.
let's take a look. So directional walking, yes. Primary trigger, secondary trigger, strength, agility. Jump, crouch, kind of. Uh, shortcuts, so now quick use. So like quick slot actions. Mm. Okay. Input, input action, um, quick slot one. And let's open it, it's digital and it's also just pressed. Quick slot two, got it. And now input action, input action underscore interact. Interact use, I could even call it. And this is trigger type of um, well it should be both uh, hmm, interesting I want to do hold and release or hold drop it action so I wanted to do both I wanted to do it hold I wanted to do uh pressed okay mm. quick quick interact and now sprinting mm. but sprinting yeah let's do sprinting uh wait, not this this, not this, not this. Oh, those should also have a stick mm, right gamepad round type stick uh, y axis. Mm, stick right x-axis and this one should be modified and negated as well <coughs> so looking around it's covered agility action is crouching so it's covered Okay, so we got everything now that we wanted. So we got run walk sprinting. So this will be. S oh, okay. Do we have sprint? No, okay. Again, input action underscore sprint. Mm, so we want to say. It's a bull value. No, this is a bull value. But what we want, we want to hold. We want to hold. So this triggers this action. Uh, not just pressing, but holding, sprinting. And save. We don't have to map everything immediately. Like we know that we are using this mapping. Uh, so we might actually add this. Mm. Save everything. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Where's like adding to favorites? Oh, or maybe it's for the entire folder. Yeah, here's add to favorites like the entire folder. Okay, never mind. So we got the inputs. We got this character reacting to inputs. So now he can move forward, backward, and like look around. And when aim offset hits certain degree, it's turning. Like we defined, everything works as we defined. 
So that's cool. Uh, yeah, so let's go back here and see that we have this. So we have input mapping. It's, well, maybe not yet fully verified. Uh, we might have to verify it later, but everything works properly. Uh, locomotion input. Okay, so base character setup we have completed. So let's go to the setup of animation blueprint.